today. Um, I don't know why this one is so weird. Like this one? Okay. Um, I'm just resting my legs a little bit. It's been a long day, but it's all it's only two o'clock, I think. Yeah. Um. Today, um, I had. Um. For the first time, I went to a school and did intervention outside on the hallway, and. It was really fun because I met first graders who were um, most some of them were I guess English speakers some of them were not um, that particular teacher in that particular school works with um, Westminster students and so we were two people there that went today and we spent time with three kids each and 30 about 30 minutes each and um I had two boys and one girl and they were so cute I just I just love them and um when she started seeing the teacher I started seeing the names um she was like well, this one and this one, and then she says Yuki, and I'm like, oh, give me that kid. That kid is probably from Japan. She's like, yeah. I'm like, well, you know, I came from Japan too. I was, I'm not Japanese, but I came from Japan and lived there for a number of years. And so she's like, okay. And so um, she mentioned that you know, lots of the parents of those students, especially little ones, their their parents are students as well, um, either doing their bachelor or masters or whatever education they're pursuing um, in Utah for a season and, and so she said in that way we have kids from Mongolia from all over the world um, and so I was like that's pretty cool my classmate got a boy with the name Mario and I'm like Mario is so, such a cool name like Mario and Luigi <laughs> so yeah but um and I have to say something like I do not I've worked with Japanese kids for a long time and that trait that those traits that I see in them it's like always oh, this I, I wouldn't say that all Japanese kids are like that but this was the typical Japanese kid um, in, in a good way actually he was like persistent focused efficient and very quick in his answer so we were going and working on the alphabet he knew the alphabet, he knew the letters, he knew how to sound them, how to say the letters' names, how to sound them, he knew the vowels, he knew everything. He knew how to write, uh, to read. The only thing I, I noticed as a trait, but I see that also um, in all students I've had in Japan as well when we're learning the alphabet, the small, the lowercase b and d. Um, and when you add to that p and q, it's like, it looks like a key that is um, push them on the right on the left or up or down so it's like you have no idea what so they um, all kids seem seem to think a bit longer when they have to figure out if the, the word is with a D or with a B um, but even with him like he, he he stopped he paused but he was fine um, he figured it out and um, um, we we were given blocks, wooden blocks, with nothing on them, no numbers, no no letters, or nothing, just blocks. And so I was like, she gives me manipulatives, the teacher. How can I use them? So we we're like reading the sentences, like simple sentences, and then um, we'll be clapping the the number of um, words in the sentence. And and then I was like, well, let's build the sentence with those blocks. So how many words do you see in the sentence? And we word them, and um, it 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 just happened so that it, the, the both sentences had um, um, six words in it, in them. And so it was really cute. And then I was like, well, since we have so many more blocks than just six, let's play Jenga with him. So it was not like real Jenga; they were smaller, so we had to use like a pencil to push them a little bit because our fingers were a bit bigger. They were small, tiny 
um, like um, blocks, but we we made fun. Of, we 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 just made the best out of them, and we we made a tower real quick with th three blocks and three blocks and three blocks layering in them, and then we started playing Jenga, and it was so fun. I was like, I just felt like that's exactly what I was doing with my kids when they were growing up, and that's what I did in, in the schools with, and during recess. So <laughs> it's really fun. I always played Jenga with, with the kiddos in my schools in Japan or Uno. Uno was a big deal there because they have their own rules. I have my own rules and we go by everybody's rules and it was just so fun. But um, yeah. And um, yeah, I, I just that, that trait of a Japanese kid and like that image, that, the typical image of like a really good hearted, um, super fast um focused kid because um the first kid i was talking to his hair was just as long as mine only blonde and i mean every time i tried to ask him to, to do something and like any task on the paper he would just turn around and start looking at um at things and just started talking to me about, about uh, Minecraft and I was like oh my goodness I have to go home and have to ask my boys I have to educate myself about Minecraft I know how they look like I know the creepers and I know the zombies and I know the villagers and I know those things and I know Minecraft teaches you a lot of science but I have no idea the things that he asked me and I was like okay I'm gonna go and educate myself and next time when I meet you I'm gonna let you know what I heard and what I understand so yeah that was fun I learned a lot from him about Minecraft and my third person my third student was a girl and she was so cute oh I was like you, you like Barbie she was like yeah how do you know my like, your t-shirt says Barbie on it <laughs> so cute I loved her and she was blonde and she had like lots of beautiful ribbons in her hair oh my gosh girls are so cute and I it's just so different girls are so different they're so focused and they're so on task and if you have some questions like she would, she would tell me like what's her favorite color or ice cream or you know, it was, it was just really fun to communicate. The sweetness of the conversation is different from when you talk to a boy. And so I was melting. It was so great to, to have her. And she was done quickly. And, and then I just let her go. And she was happy to go. And so I was, I was doing my evaluations, my assessments. And um, you can nail it. He nailed it. He, he had 100%. He didn't have any mistakes anywhere in my assessments. And the other two were... He had like a little... I, had, I have to tell. So the school year starts in last fall. By now, they're really good. They're grasping the material. And like the teacher is really great. She's teaching them phonics. She's teaching them um, um, the chunks of the words. On just chunks. And um, she said, they've done that with me before. And she, she's giving me an assessment. And she's like, they, they should be good by now. And she was right. She's a really good teacher. And they're patient with them. Some of the kiddos I noticed in the room were restless. And um, she just somehow is in control. And I think that's the, the, the most important part of the whole thing. Being a teacher is to set the rules and set the boundaries. So everybody's on the same page. And... I really, really, today was my first day future me, so I just wanted to remember that, okay, today was really fun, it was hard to find a school or where to park, but it was, ah, it was great, I would love to go back a few more times, whatever is the requirement, I just, I just love working with, I love working with kids, I learn so much from them, and they just keep this, um, humanity and humility inside of you i don't know how to explain it it's just their inspiration their they give you the spark for the day i don't know how to explain it they they drain your energy but they also have this um i don't know how to put it in words in any language but i love playing and talking and um just being around kids because you know they're our future and they are so innocent and so pure and so charismatic and just I understand now why Heavenly Father loves children and Jesus when he came 
to this earth. He just loved spending time with the children. I understand. You have to spend time with them and 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 then you realize that you learn a lot from them. You're not the, the you can be a mentor of any sort. They could look up to you, but it, I feel like I'm the one taking so much out of this whole thing. Like they're just great teachers to me. Anyways, including my own kids. Oh my gosh, including my own kids. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be short, but this is what it was today. So <laughs> bye. <laughs>